Good morning, everybody. Welcome back again. Here we are with the 10th grade C on a Friday, Friday the 6th. Outside is really cloudy, covered with clouds. And I say it's really dark. So let's hope that we get some sunlight today. I hope, because I really want to get some sun. Well, it's Friday, finally. So this is the end of the week. Uh, people, how was your week? Emilio, how was your week? How was your week? It was boring. Oh, dude, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You need to find something nice, something entertaining to do, master. Yeah, something nice, something entertaining. What about you, Sergio? How was your week, dude? Tranquilo. Okay, chill. It was a chill week. I agree. Yeah, I would say mine was really fun. Uh, let me ask now, Anais, how was your week? Uh, how was your week? How was your week? The week, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Friday, Wednesday, Thursday. No hay respuesta. <laughs> ok. <laughs> Nada. <laughs> Nada. Se va a Bonilla. How was your week? Se va. Se va. ¿Qué pasó, profe? So, Bonilla, how was your week? Eh, me quedé todo, todo rato en la casa. No, no hice mucho. You didn't go out? No, profe, si estaba en pandemia. Ah, but master, like, uh, maybe to your patio. Maybe to the background. Or maybe to the... Eh, sí, es que tengo mi gato y el mes voy a jugar con mi gato en el patio que tengo. Okay, that's, that's perfect. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. It's perfect. Yeah, you need some sunlight. It's very, very important. Super important. Okay. And um, what about you, Benjamin Pinto? How was the week? How was your week, Master? How was your week? Bueno, bro. Bueno. Ah, yeah. That's positive. You know, I was very happy this week because... Um, I, I went to the school, okay, on Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and I saw many students, and I saw many, many students, and I, I was very, very happy because a lot, a lot of students. Ah, muy estudiante. Yeah, yeah, they're coming back, uh, it's very positive, they, they look happy. Uh, intelligent choice, very intelligent choice, that's true. Okay, that's true, that's true. That's that's very nice. Yeah, get the second doses and then go. All right, today's class is called going backwards. And going backwards means going to the past. But we are not going to the past directly. Uh, it's just an expression of going back, okay? Going in the opposite direction. So today's class mainly is about listening. Okay, we're going to do some listening. And also we're going to do a bit of... Um, uh, practice okay so let's begin first of all we need to start before the listening catching up with some vocabulary uh here we have you can use your dictionaries if you want uh here we have the vocabulary words that you need uh do you know any of them do you know the words of any of them we have six vocabulary words do you know any of them Do you know any of the words, people? Yes or no? A yes or no? Yes, the space. Okay, the space. 
space space this is an action actually it's an action that people do and it's connected to space it's connected to the stars mainly and a lot of people practice it people practice it and this is something that um this is something that we can find in our houses we can use it for watering the plants we can water the plants with it and the pronunciation and the word is a hose a hose it's like a house, but it's shorter and it's like a z hose. That's a hose. And you can use it to water the plants. Some, some of them are very long, others are very short. Uh, this is an activity, a, an activity that I like a lot. Last year, I found um, an app which I enjoyed very much. Okay, I'm going to share with you. But first, I'm going to tell you the action. This action is called stargazing and gaze the word gaze right here gaze means to observe okay is another word for look when you look at something you see it with more detail but if you gaze at some at something or someone you can gaze someone it means you are seeing with attention so stargazing is like looking something with ad admiration so stargazing is a beautiful activity and i if you like the stars and uh, we live in one of the best regions to stargaze especially if you go to the valley also atacama desert is a really really cool place to stargaze in the planet okay so we have top 10 quality skies and then the app is called stellarium Stellarium. It's in Play Store and App Store as well. Uh, uh, sorry, Apple, Apple, I don't know. Stellarium is an awesome, awesome app. You can find constellations. It's like a virtual reality. Uh, it's like a 3D app. So you have to point your mobile phone to the, to the sky at night, and then it will recognize uh, you can find stars, you can find constellations, you can find other galaxies. Wow, it's amazing. It's going to blow your mind. Okay, then what we have, it's, uh, this is a verb, it's an action that, for example, when the phone is running out of electricity, of battery, uh, you have to plug it. Right? You have to plug in. In the opposite of plug in, when the microphone is ready, 100% battery, you unplug, okay, you have to unplug. So plug and unplug. Plug to connect, unplug to disconnect, simple. I'm sure you know this one. I'm really sure you know this one. There are tiny things that we use, uh, that we eat actually. Uh, right now, people eat them a lot. In the past, I think birds, Birds only ate them. You can find them in watermelon. You can find them in sesame. Sesame is a is a is one of these. Seeds. Yeah, they, these are seeds. Perfect. These are seeds. Okay, and they are delicious. Now people are eating them more. Chia seeds. For example, uh, my favorite is um, uh, pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds, they are delicious. I recommend them. Uh, sesame seeds are delicious too with salad. They are really nutritional. So they are really, really, really good. Uh, the next one, this is where you plug in the things, okay? These are, this is where you plug in uh, the electric appliances. So this is the socket, the electricity socket or the socket, mm -hmm. just the socket. Okay. Let's call it now, another thing. Here we go. And finally, wires. You need wires to conduct electricity. Everything now, uh, the tendency now these days is that um, things are wireless. For example, until some years ago, 
we only had uh, headphones with wires. I like wires, to be honest. It's more my generation. But now you can find wireless headphones or Bluetooth air headphones or earphones. So it's a very nice thing. It's a very nice thing that you can that we can have wireless. It's much convenient. We have wireless, wireless internet, for example. So we have wire. Let me write a word. Wire cable, right? Less seen. Wireless. Mm -hmm. Wireless internet. Wireless earphones. That's it. Okay, so what we're going to do now is that we're going to listen. We're going to listen to a recording from the book and we're going to do some activity. So let me go to the book now. Here we go. Here you are in the book now. Let's go. Mm -hmm. So quickly matching it. This is picture one, two, three, four. Apple seats. What picture is it? Apple seats. There's one. Uh, the third one. Thank you. The moon. Let's go quickly. This is easy peasy. The first. First. Let's go. A plug to plug in a socket. The quarter. Uh, the fourth one. Yes, the fourth one. And a hose. The second. The second. One. Okay, have you, have you, do you remember anything that you did when, I, when you were a kid that was connected to this one? For example, the moon. I remember that people, people used to say, people used to say that, um, people used to say that if you were looking at the sky at night and you see a shooting star, uh, shooting star, you had to you had to ask for a wish. Yeah, you had to ask for a wish. And that wish uh, came true. Okay. So what is a shooting star? If you're looking at night and you see a shooting star. What is a shooting star? Yes, yes. And they are very, very difficult to find. Very difficult to find. And actually, shooting stars are um, pieces of uh, materials coming out from space or coming into the planet. They, they can be, for example, shooting stars can be uh, pieces of rock from asteroids. They can be other things which are burning in the sky because of the entrance uh, uh, in the atmosphere so these are uh, they are not stars but we call them like that because they look bright and and, and shiny so a shooting star. people used to say that if you saw or if you saw a shooting star at night you may ask for a wish and maybe it'll come true mm -hmm. it'll come true okay um, another one Uh, what about this one? Did, did you did you used to play with your with your friends and with your uh, with your family in summer uh, with a hose? Like with water, throwing water? Yes. Yeah, used to. It's really fun. I remember that. It's something of the best things. Playing with a hose. In summer, because it's really hot, amazing. Uh, did anyone in your family told you that um, they say they used to say that if you if you ate seeds like apple seeds or watermelon seeds, uh, you would grow you would grow a tree or like a watermelon tree or, or something in the stomach. Did your parents tell you that, for example? Did someone in the family tell you that? No, not really. 
No, mm, maybe it was my generation. They used to say that. And did your parents ever told you or a friend or someone that if you, if you touch the socket with your wet hands or with your hands wet, uh, you could get the electricity? You could get elect electrocuted? Did your parents ever tell ever told you that? You could get electrocuted if you touched the socket with your wet hands. No, nope, maybe not. Okay, we're gonna listen now. So what you're gonna do is very simple. Uh, we're gonna listen to it and we're gonna put them in order as you listen. Let's go. Be careful with the volume. Be careful with the volume, I repeat. Let's go. Morning, everyone. Morning. Morning. Right, everyone okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. This morning, I was having breakfast and I was listening to a radio programme and they were talking about what kids used to believe when they were little. It was really interesting. And I started to think about when I was a kid. And I remembered that when I was a little girl, every night I used to plug something into all the electrical sockets in my bedroom. <laughs> I thought that if I didn't, the electricity would come out of the holes during the night and I'd get ill. <laughs> I used to plug in different things all around the room so that I didn't get sick. <laughs> <laughs> really, miss? Did you really used to do that? Yes, it's true, honestly. So, I thought it might be fun today to start our lesson just a few minutes uh, talking about the things we used to believe when we were kids. We still are kids, miss. Oh, come on, Alex, you know what I mean. I mean, when you were little kids, did you used to believe strange things, uh, anyone? Yes, Sarah. Well, when I was a kid, about five I guess, I thought the moon was really beautiful and I used to look at it for hours. And you know how the moon looks white sometimes? Well, for some reason I thought it was white because it was afraid of me. So I used to laugh at it and call it names. You thought the moon was scared of you. That's right. I guess I remembered cartoons where people go white in the face when they're scared. Maybe that's why. Oh, OK, Sarah, thank you. That's a really nice story. Who's next? Oh. <laughs> yes, come on, Alex. Well, miss, this is actually about my grandfather, not me. OK, that's fine. Tell us. I remember my grandfather said that when he was a kid, he noticed how when you stand on a water hose, the water stops coming out of it. And so he used to be scared of standing on a wire or cable because he thought that the electricity would stop. <laughs> oh, nice one. So if you stand on a wire, there's no more electricity? Yes. <laughs> OK, thanks, Alex. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Anyone else? Hands up! Yes, Martin, off you go. Well, my family used to have an apple tree in the garden, so we didn't used to buy apples. We always had apples from our tree, you know? Right. And we ate lots of apples. But I got this idea. I don't know where from. I really don't. Anyway, I used to think that I mustn't eat the pips, the apple seeds. Really? Why not eat the apple seeds? Yeah, well, I used to think that if I got an apple seed in my stomach, then an apple was going to grow inside me. <laughs> Goodness! <laughs> but now you know that's not true, right? Of course. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, great stories. So, today we're going to think about ideas that people used to have in the past. Ideas that we now know aren't true, OK? Like, people used to think that the Earth was flat, miss. <sighs> exactly. Now, can anyone think of more examples? Anyone? Hell yeah, 
one. Let's do this. Okay, which one's what's the first one they mentioned? Which one was the first one they mentioned? Let's go. The electricity. Uh, this if you stepped on a wire. She, uh, this person used to think that if you stepped on a wire, se pisa un cable, and the electricity stopped. Uh, okay. Uh, number two. Profe, no me acuerdo la de la manguera. No, no sé si una manguera. You had to mention the who's, I think. Number three, let's see. Number three. Uh, the estrellas. The luna. Stars and the moons. Yeah, she said something about this. the moon was funny or something. Um, make fun of her. And four. The apple seeds, right? Yeah. Okay, so it should be this one, like this. Uh, let's check. No, they were backwards. Mm. So it was the moon and then the hose. The hose. Uh, the pronunciation is very, it's very, 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 very delicate. Hose. All right. Uh, we've got some questions. Let's answer the questions quickly. So, uh, let's see. We have the match question. We have six. Uh, let's just put them here. Easy peasy. When the teacher was a girl, why did she think she might get ill during the night? She thought electricity may come out of the doors. Of the sockets, yeah. So she basically disconnected everything. I mean, no, she connected everything. She plugged everything she could in this in the sockets because she thought that electricity was like a monster. It would come out out of the sockets, or out of the sockets, um, and uh, and that would cause a big issue, right? Little kids. When we are little kids, we we think about those stuff, right? Uh, what about this one? Why did Sarah used to look at the moon hours? Why did Sarah? She thought it was beautiful. She thought it was beautiful. I mean, the moon is beautiful. Honestly, it's really beautiful. Why did Sarah laugh at the moon? She thought it was afraid of her. Of her. She thought it was afraid of her. That's very strange. When we were kids, we we used to think that the moon was made of cheese. Did you have the same thought? Did you did you have the same idea when you were kids? What? That the moon was made of cheese? No, no. No, I, I don't know. People used to tell me the moon is made of cheese. You were like, what? No, not possible. Okay, next one. Um, why didn't Alex, grandfather, used to step on wires? He thought an apple would grow inside him. Ah, wait, wait, wait. Why didn't Alex, grandfather, step on wires? Ah, madre mía. He thought the electricity would stop. He thought electricity would stop, yeah. yeah. Bueno, yo creo que en su momento de haber sido cierto, o sea, te llega una tecnología nueva, ¿eh? uno que empieza a creer cosas que no son. Por ejemplo, ¿cómo era? No, no sé, no conozco a nadie que haya sido como de campo y que haya dicho, oh, no, no haga eso, porque la, le va a pasar esto. No, no sé. Sí, sí. Next one. Why did Martin's family eat lots of apples? They had an apple tree in the in their garden. They had an apple tree. And finally, he was afraid because he thought an apple would grow inside of him. Uh, there was a there was like a uh, there was a cartoon when I was ki a kid called Rugrats or Aventuras en Pañales. Did you know that one? Yes. Yes, Aventuras en Pañales. Yeah. 
So Aventuras en Pañales, they had a chapter in which um, they talk about this. Uh, let me see if we can find it. Uh, I think there's one character that is talking about, ah, if you mean, uh, I don't know, something, it's gonna, you're gonna grow a tree. Uh, I think it was a watermelon, a watermelon plant in your stomach. Uh, Bluegrass, uh, watermelon seeds, ah, there you are, let me see. Chucky swallows, uh, uh, but uh, oh, let me see if, we, if it's in, in English. I think it's in English. Oh, what a melon! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Sorry, kids. Eating watermelon is something you can't do till you're a little older. Wouldn't want to swallow a seed, would ya? <laughs> <laughs> you don't want a watermelon growing in your tummy. Ha! What's the matter, Chucky? You guys? Look. <laughs> you don't want a watermelon growing in your tummy. You don't want a watermelon growing in your tummy. Uh, Mia, there's a Mia. There you are. Is it? What? Beneficial. Did you ever? Do you ever see this series or is it too old? You see? Ah, is Sergio? Sergio? Is it? Ah, master. Have you seen those um, watermelons in Japan? Squared watermelon. I think it's in Japan, right? Look at that. Farmers from Shikoku Island are very proud of these plants. You won't see anything like this anywhere else in Japan. In a matter of days, there can be no disputes here. Nobody cares what's inside of it. The most important is geometric accuracy. Shape is much more important than contents. In order to turn a round-shaped watermelon into a cube, it has to be put inside of this kind of metal form. All you need is waiting until it fills it completely. This one is almost done. In three or four days it will be ready to be cut off. Square watermelons are not easy to find. In Japan there are only two or three hundred of them per year. Hiroko Yamashita complains that this year's harvest is not so plentiful. There was not rainy enough in May, so only a few dozen was taken from one field. You must take care of every single water transportation of these plants. It had to be perfectly fit to the height of shelf of refrigerator. Art is not for food. Not for food. Wait, 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 wait. Ever try to do this? Piece of agricultural art is not for food. Art is not tape down. Square with the final. Connoisseurs can buy one for $100 in the supermarkets of big cities. Ordinary ones are three to four times cheaper. As a decoration, it can serve as long as a year until next harvest. Sergei Mengajov, Alexei Pich. No se comen, entonces? What? ¿Qué estafa, entonces? ¿Yo pensaba que se, se comían? O sea. ¿Sabían eso? O sea, ¿habían visto las la sandías cuadradas, no? Sí, pues o sea, es una súper buena idea tener sandías cuadradas para poder transportarla de mejor forma, pero cuando la abrió, ¿se dieron cuenta? Era horrible. Never ever try to do this. Piece of agricultural art is not for food. 
それではやっぱりサインプラコメントわわえプレディシャオケーエニワイスグッバイケデプレディシャオわあノメマキンマキンマワオインクレディブアメイジング All right, people. So, what we're going to do now is that we are moving to a new direction. And that is,、uh, I'm going to put this one again. I'm going to go here. Okay, so when, when I was talking about some of these things, I mentioned、uh, U strings, for example. When I was a kid, my mom she used to tell me that if I, if I was a bad kid, I was a naughty kid.、Uh, El viejo el saco would come and will take me. O los gitanos. They would take me and they would adopt me.、Hmm. Uh, in your families, did your families ever tell you something like that you heard when you were kids and that it wasn't true as a kid? And your parents told you and you, you thought it was true, like completely true, but then. As an adult now, I mean, not adult, but as a bigger kid, you think is, nah, <laughs> it's too big. ¿Te dijeron algo así a ustedes alguna vez? No? Okay. So. When we explain these things, we used to say and we used to use.、Um, Antonio Neira dice que sí.、Uh, when we talk about something in the past that、uh, today, today is not true,、uh, we are using the expression used to. Okay, used to、uh, is used to express something that in the past was true, or maybe not, but has changed now in the present. For example, when I was a kid, I used, to, I used to have a Game Boy, a Game Boy Color. And I used to play Game Boy,、um, but my brother broke it down. We were in the car, and my brother took my Game Boy because he was, he was very angry. And he took my Game Boy and, and threw it out of the window, and another car destroyed my Game Boy. That, that's, a, that's a sad story of my Game Boy Color.、Uh, and Game Boy Colors were really expensive. <laughs> my mom was really, really angry at them. Like, why did you do that? My brother was like,、oh, What did I do? So, used to. Used to is something that isn't true now. Things have changed. And what we're going to do is、uh, we have some activities here in the book that we're going to pay attention to. So, we have here uh, uh, every night I used to something into electrical sockets. I used to something into all electrical sockets. What would be the verb that this person used here? We have sockets, electrical sockets, into. Every night I used to. We have the verbs down here. I used to do, I used to be, I used to laugh, I used to plug, I used to eat. What's the verb? verb? The best verb. I mean, Yana. I mean, Yana. I mean, Yana, no answer. Okay. People, come on, let's go. What verb? Okay, maybe the second one. Did you really used to that miss? I mean, Yana, what happened? Don't tell me that you forgot that today was different. No, what happened then? Okay, any other verb? Number three, I used to at the moon and call it names. At the moon, what's the verb then? Hello. I used to laugh. Yes, I used to laugh.、Uh, he used to scared of standing on a wire. He used to、uh, scared of standing on a wire. 
scared. Okay, let's jump into number five. I think number five is easy. I didn't use to the seats. Eat. I didn't use to eat, yes. Okay, obviously, now that's a change. Okay, that, that, that thing has changed. Now this person probably um, use, I mean, probably eat the seats because this person knows that um, that isn't true. Okay, what about the other ones then? Ah, okay, I get it. The first one is plug. I used to plug, yes. I used to plug something into all electrical sockets. Yes. Miss, did you really used to do that? The Yeah, and he used to be scared. Yeah. So used to is something very simple to use. Very, very simple to use. We use it to refer to something that is not true anymore. For example, when I was a kid, I used to play the violin. Uh, my mom put me in this violin academy when I was around five or six. I think I was six. And I played violin for two years. But then we changed. We changed schools. And I, and I lost my ability of violin. So I used to play. Okay? I don't play anymore. Profe, yeah? El used to es para cosas que hacías. ¿Y cómo se dice para cosas que pensabas? Uh, I used to think. Mm -hmm. I used to think. I used to think. For example, this happens a lot. Uh, I used to think when I was a kid that um, I used to think that aliens were real, real people. Um, and also, I used to think that in the future, like like 2021 or the year 2000, uh, we were going to have flying cars. I used to think, but obviously, Emilio, this is not true, right? Hay algo que solías pensar tú, Emilio, cuando pequeño y que no es así o que no era así. I don't know. You don't know. Uh, I'm sorry. Me Let me think about other things that I used to think it was true. Uh, uh, yeah, I remember now. For example, when uh, when things broke down, when things break down, cuando se echan a perder, when things break down, I used to think that if you leave them at night, uh, for example, I don't know, uh, my TV broke down. And if you leave it, on a table at night, the the little gnomes or the elves would come and fix it and repair the object. I used to think that. I remember, yeah, because every time I left, I left something at night or two nights, and then it, it was repaired. I mean, it worked. I wasn't it, it wasn't repaired completely, but it worked. I was like, oh, maybe maybe the gnomes. The little elves. But anyway, let's see now. Uh, it says complete with used to. Con la forma correcta, they used to. Yeah, they have, that shop used to be a bookshop, but now it sells cell clothes. So we can see that the shop in the past was a bookshop, but now it's a closed shop. Uh, let's do it now. He, my friend, but we really each other anymore. How would you complete it? What is this person talking about? What is this person talking about? Well, Uh, it's saying that uh, they are not friends now, but in the past. He used to be. He used to be. He used He used to be. Yeah. El used, basi. Used to. Y después un verbo infinitivo. En este caso, be. Used to be my friend, but really, but we really don't know each other anymore. Yeah. Ya no nos pescamos. Ya ni 
me say present simple. Uh, now, when we were younger, we listened to country music, but now we listen to anything else. Ah, yeah. Que ahora son muy fanáticos del country y cuando chicos no, escucha, no lo solían escuchar. Ya. Yeah. Para ser negativo del used to es muy fácil. Necesitan eso. Didn't used to. Y no se pone la D porque, porque está ocupada acá. Ya, no se pone la D. Porque está ocupada aquí. Está ocupada acá en el D. Ya, entonces sería, didn't used to listen. No solíamos escuchar country. But now we don't listen. Okay, why didn't and why don't? Because we are changing contrast. This is in the past. When we were younger, we didn't used to listen to country music. No solíamos escuchar. But now, present, we don't listen to anything else. Yeah, ahora no escuchamos nada más que no sea country. Puro country. Yeah, aquí tenemos Walpo. I really pizza now, but I pick my favorite food. Vean cómo van cambiando el tiempo. Aquí dice now, y aquí obviamente el pasado de foto. Yeah, ¿Cómo lo pondríamos? Let's go, people, let's go. Don't like. I don't like, I really don't like pizza now, but it used to be. Used to be my favorite food. Can, can it be possible? What do you think? Can it be possible that person used to like pizza, but now doesn't like pizza? What do you think? Is it possible that someone someone used to like pizza, but not now? Not, not anymore? It's very Where's strange. It? I mean, it could be very, very strange. That's very strange. They ate it that much. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> they don't ate... like it anymore. That, yeah, okay. That's something. That's why sometimes people don't like things when they grow up because they ate them uh, too much. Yeah, I agree. They ate... Uh, maybe he ate it too much. Or she, we don't know. Uh, we to Greece for holidays, but now we prefer Spain. We prefer because it's in present. Uh, okay, what about this one? In the past. We used to go. We used to go to Greece. We used to go to Greece on holidays. Wow, that's amazing. When do you used to go for holiday? I used to go to holiday to Ovalle. <laughs> used to, we used to go to... Um, Antofagasta for holidays. And these people, I used to go to Greece and now we prefer Spain. <laughs> Next level holiday. Okay, what about this one? My sister believed there were monsters under the bed. People? Used to believe. Used to believe. Do you used to believe the same? Did you used to believe kind of something similar? You know what? I used to believe that there were, um, uh, there, there were monsters or ghosts in the closet. <laughs> so I always, even now as an adult, I close the closet <laughs> because I, I think there's something inside. Really stupid, you know. You too? Yeah, you know, it it might be true. I mean, it looks strange when you're when you're sleeping and you wake up and you look at the closet and and you can see shapes. Nah, scary. Yeah. Not care about science, but now I think it's very interesting. Yeah. Yeah, dije that. Now I think it's very interesting. What about this one? It's negative in the past. <clears throat> negative in the past. People? Didn't use to care. Yeah, I didn't use to I didn't use to care. Yeah, see la de what I'm gonna say. 
Uh, this is true for me. When I was at school, I didn't care about science a lot, but now I think it's really, really interesting. I love it. Like I listen to a lot of uh, videos. I mean, I watch a lot of videos and listen to a lot of podcasts about science. When you were small, have an imaginary friend. Yeah, for question is super simple. It's very similar to the negative. It's did and again use. Uh, no D because the D is here. Yeah. Did you used to have an imaginary friend? Uh, okay. Did you use? Ah, I used to have. Yeah. And did you used to have an imaginary friend when you were little? People, did you used to have an imaginary friend? I don't remember. Oh, mom told me that I used to play alone and talk to nothing. Really? Wow. That's scary. Emilian. <laughs> Maybe you, maybe you were possessed, possessed by the spirit. She <laughs> said that it, it's normal for kids to do yeah. things like that. Uh, absolutely, that's that's normal. So she ignored me, mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah. she she told me that. I agree. I've I seen, I've seen little, kids, little kids. They they, they regularly uh, talk to themselves. Yeah, Emiliana, wow. So that's normal. Well, what a good mom you have. I don't remember either, Emiliana. I don't think I had like an imaginary friend. Yeah, I used to have a teddy bear and that was my friend, but yeah, no, not really, not really. Like, for example, uh, there's a movie, like a scared movie. Like a horror movie, they uh, a person has like an imaginary friend. How's it called? El Conjuro? No. No, Anabel is real. Anabel está como el muñeco frío. Ah, okay, good, 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 good. Okay, people. So what you're gonna do now? It's very simple. Okay, uh, let me quit this. Let me go to Google Classroom now. Let me see if I put it in Classroom. Is it true that there is a El Conjuro 3? Conjuring 3? Is it true that it's going to be a third movie? Has anyone, wa has anyone of you watched the number two, the second one? Has anyone of you watched the second one? Well, okay. So, before Okay, so the activity that you're going to do is very simple. So I'm going to put some inventions and you need to tell me how was life before this invention. Right down here, how was life before this invention? Yeah, uh, the internet. And uh, another one on the mobile phones. Okay, so remember to uh, include the expression used to. I'm going to give you an example. Before that, OK. 
Okay, I'm gonna use another one. Uh, another invention. Before, before the camera. Before the camera. Well, um, people used to ask artists, uh, uh, illustrators, or painters to make a portrait of themselves and their families. People used to pay a lot of money to get a portrait. And usually these, usually, and usually wear, no, and usually they wear very expensive. Now, now you can get, you can take HD pictures with a phone and share it, no, share them, okay, pictures with them uh, instantly mm -hmm. without paying. Perfect, that's it. Do you get the idea? Do you get the idea, people? Yes. Okay, so this is for, I'm gonna leave it today for tomorrow. Um, no, no, for Monday, porque le va a tocar a los otros igual. Monday, and this is unit four. Okay, the internet and the mobile phones, okay? ¿Les parece que le ponga esos dos o ustedes elijan? Esos dos también. Sí, 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 dos está bien, ¿por qué más? Sí, el used to se explica solo cuando uno lo ocupa. Ya, pero es que no me resulta ponerlo en negrita. Yeah. Write down how was life before these inventions, the internet and the mobile phone. Remember to include the expression used to. Yeah. Before the camera, people used to blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Instrucciones opcionales. Uh, please. Please. Uh, use bold letter with the um, expression used to. Okay. And try. And don't be stingy. No se han apretado with your answers. <laughs> no, and give full answers. And write full answers. Bold, bold letter is um, con negrita, ya? Este es bold, por eso son una B. Bold. Este es italics, por eso sale una I. Y este es underlined, por eso sale una U. Ya, bold. Ya. Okie dokie. People? People? Mm, yeah. Okay, se lo voy a dejar ahí. Ya apareció. Eh, no voy a ponerle. No voy a ponerle writing. Writing task. Bah. Task. One, right there. You need to be sexy. And then I have to put you present. Interesting. Meanwhile, I'm gonna get you present. Emiliana. Hey, Emiliana, uh, what's going on with you? I haven't seen her a long time. A long time. Do you know anything about her? What? Hey, do you know anything about Chio? I haven't seen Chio for a long time. I don't know much either about you. Uh, okay. Okay. Let it. Let. Let's just wait for her to come back. All right, people. That's the end of the class. I'm gonna 
leave your necks off. You can have your weekend free. Uh, please finish the activity. Remember that everything counts. Everything counts. Next week, we're going to be doing something a bit different. All right, people. Have a nice day. Enjoy your Fridays. Okay.